I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You don't have to be obsessed with everything you enjoy. You don't have to be an expert on every game you play, book series you read, movie series you watch. You don't have to be the person that knows everything, that does everything. This may seem obvious, but for so many people, it is very easy to look at those on the internet, especially on social media, and feel pressured into effectively no lifing the thing, into becoming all encompassed, obsessed with the thing, and caring about nothing else. Because otherwise, how are you going to know as much as the next person? YouTube is full of videos, Twitter posts are full of threads, all forums, everything of people who spend every waking moment breaking down and analyzing a game, a movie, a book, a whatever. And finding every piece of lore, every RNG mechanic that you have to manipulate frame by frame in a game, every exploit, every individual characteristic of a character. And that's okay. If you're someone who wants to do that with something, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're someone who just wants to enjoy the thing, even on a hardcore level, but not on that hardcore of a level, that's okay too. The social media scene of any fandom skews towards the obsessed, towards the know-it-alls, the the omnipotent researchers, and kind of makes you feel like those are the normal people, that those are the default, and that you're not a quote-unquote real fan of whatever media it is because you don't know every little thing, or because you forgot a detail and you haven't touched it in a few years, or you're a little rusty or whatever. You, you can easily be made to feel like a fraud or that you don't belong because you don't know every little thing. It's not possible to know every little thing. And especially if you're someone who likes multiple things, and those of us with ADHD with a bajillion different interests can, you know, definitely be lumped into that group, you can't know everything about everything. You may have a subject that's your expertise, but you're still just as valued of a of an enjoyer of another thing if you're not the expert on it it's so so easy for our perspectives to get skewed and i think this very much relates to the the more kind of stereotypical complaints about social media and like instagram or what have you where where people feel pressured to exude a lifestyle or to pretend that they're living their dream life because that's what everyone else is doing and you know the claim is that reality in reality everyone's all depressed because they're all trying to live this fake life I, I i think it's easier to look at those examples and be like well i don't wear bikinis all the time and go to hotel rooms and i don't i'm not influenced by that so it doesn't matter and pretend it doesn't apply to you but then turn around and see a youtube feed full of people that play your favorite game and know every little detail about it and then either feel down on yourself for not knowing as much as them or like not knowing this thing or feel quote unquote influenced or pressured to then turn around and start obsessing over that thing because you you, you don't want to miss out. FOMO is real. And it's the same concept. It's the same idea just applied to other lifestyle things. To, to, to video games or movies or or a specific program instead of living on the beach and traveling all the time or buying expensive clothes or makeup or whatever it's the same idea it's the same human tendency we want to we want to belong we want to be a part of it and so we want to participate and we're we're led to because not even necessarily because any specific person puts it on us but because of the natural filtration where you know, the phrase shit floats or, you know, the, the people who stand out, literally stand out, kind of float to the top and get in your face. Those are the people that you see and then you feel like are what everyone's doing and you want to be a part of that. And the reality is those are the stand out people. Those are not the normal people. And it's OK to be a little bit more normal in something. I know the Internet is very anti-normal these days, but it's totally fine. <laughs> I just wanted to share this thought as I inevitably bounce between all of my hobbies and a lot of them I spend a lot of time with. But there's always someone doing more. And I always end up, especially with something I've done my whole life, like let's say Pokemon. 
I've played most of the Pokemon games and I've played them pretty religiously for most of my life, but I do go through phases where I don't touch them for a while and then some where I obsess over them for a few months. My usual ADHD hobby engagement stuff. But then I, I end up feeling embarrassed if someone points out something that I was wrong about in those games that I just assumed was true or I, I get very intrigued and feel like I'm missing out if I don't do these obsessive challenges or learn all this information about, say, like, Gen 2 or 3 Pokemon. When I was doing just fine without them in the first place, I didn't need to do it the first time. It, it's it's really hard. It's something we have to resist pretty deeply encoded in ourselves. But I think it's really healthy to recognize it and to try to step away from it whenever you do recognize it. And find a little bit of balance because you don't need to be the same as YouTuber Joe Schmo that finds every little minuscule detail about the game. You just got to be you and engage with it on the level that makes you happy. And for a lot of people, I think an important realization is that it's okay to enjoy watching those videos when people dive into those things and still not dive into them yourself. Like, that's part part of the point of it being, like, entertainment content, is you can enjoy it and enjoy that they engage with it and not pressure yourself to engage with it yourself. And I think that distinction is very hard for people to make. Remember to be kind. Rewind.